guys, I'm really doped up on my mess right now. An influencer who took part in the coronavirus challenge by licking a toilet seat is reportedly in the hospital with coronavirus. This is the same coronavirus challenge that was started by influencer Ava Louise, but it's a different influencer. Oh my god, is this what we need to do to be trendy, you guys? You guys wanna go lick some toilet seats after work? Welcome back to Inform Overload, reporting to you from my house. I'm Charlotte Dobre. If you've been here before, thanks for checking out another one of our videos. And if you're new here, like, why don't you subscribe? We got the news updates, we got the tea, we got the top 10. Come on, it's like not like you're doing anything better with your time. Except maybe watching Tiger King on Netflix. That's crazy! And why don't you check us out on social media? All the links to our socials are posted down below in the description of this video and every video. Okay, so remember a few days ago when I told you guys about an influencer who went into an airplane bathroom and filmed herself licking a toilet seat? That Ava Louise girl? So she tagged the coronavirus challenge in her video. And I didn't think that anyone would actually do it. Like, I didn't think anybody would be actually dumb enough to start this challenge and continue this challenge. But someone did do it. And in fact, a lot of people are doing it. And one of the people that did it is now in the hospital with coronavirus. I mean, like, I feel really bad for him, but like, why did he lick a toilet seat? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> I would feel more bad if he did something like, I don't know, like touch an elevator button or take public transit or something like that. But he like, he was asking for it a little bit. No? A social media influencer from California who goes by the name of Lars on social media, he's got 30,000 followers. He announced that he tested positive for coronavirus and posted a video of himself in a hospital bed. This announcement came just days after he posted a video of himself licking a toilet seat in a public bathroom and tagging the coronavirus challenge. He tweeted from his Twitter account, which is now suspended, I tested positive for coronavirus. He also posted a video of himself to Instagram that shows him in a hospital bed and on medication. Now listen, this is a guy, he likes to chase the clout. He licked the toilet seat, like, I mean, he's trying to do it for attention. So maybe he was in the hospital for something else. Maybe it's not even a real hospital bed. I don't know, it looks pretty real to me. The point is, you gotta keep in mind that this maybe is just another way to go viral and get a little extra clout. But if I know the internet, and I know the internet pretty well, <laughs> he's gonna get a lot of the wrong kind of attention. And like, no one is ever gonna kiss him again. Jesus, you kiss your mama with that mouth? The coronavirus challenge is mostly something that's going viral on TikTok and it's basically the dumbest and most disgusting thing ever. Like I literally, I just like, people are going around, they're licking things, they're coughing on things. People are also going to grocery stores and licking a bunch of things on the shelves. Mmm, look at the fire, huh? In case you were wondering, or in case you didn't know, this uh, challenge that people are doing could endanger your health and also the health of your community or anyone else that happens to go to the place that you licked or coughed on. But it also could land you behind bars. A Missouri man was recently arrested for licking a supermarket shelf filled with deodorant. More on that later on the channel. Oh, you thought I was done? No, no, I got more tea for you. Tell me your thoughts on this one down in the comments. I'm sure you have a lot of them. <laughs> for now, I'm gonna wrap up this video with some comment features from my video, Greta Thunberg thinks she has coronavirus. Let's see what you guys had to say about my first at-home I.O., eh? Eh? Diana said the videos are still professional and on point. Well, thank you very much. Uh, as you guys probably know, I'm a photographer occasionally and I've got a pretty nice camera. I had a microphone and everything, so uh, it just made sense for me to try to do this at home. Sajino Kami said, dude, seriously, great job with your lighting. Green screens can be a pain. Uh, yes, I have actually learned that. I have actually learned that green screens can be a pain. I have pinned it up to my, uh, my wall here uh, and shout out to our editors who have been keying us out and making us look really good even though we kind of have like limited resources right now. I feel like the video looks pretty good. Luck OG said, I think you should get something to soundproof. The echo is loud. I totally hear you, man. I have tried to soundproof and I did a little bit more soundproofing today, which is why the video sounds a little bit better. But there's a giant window that's in this studio. Like it's like floor to ceiling window. Um, so that's kind of responsible for a lot of the echoing. And there's also like a vent in here. So there's not really that much that I can do about it, but um, we're doing our best. So Linda Beeler said, at home IO, nice content, visual sound quality. Glad you're able to make it work. Also, I'm assuming you're doing your own hair slash makeup slash wardrobe. You look great. Oh, well, you're... <laughs> What are you wearing today to the living room? Oh, well, this this little number, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Perry Zilber said, thank you for your contribution to end society's boredom. Well, you are very welcome. I'm just doing what I can to help. All right, that's it for me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you want more, and I'll see you guys in a future IO video.